People talk to me about Chris Paul and Carmelo Anthony all the time. I'm done with that conversation. I'm done. You'll never hear me say Chris Paul is the best point guard in the league. And you'll never hear me say Carmelo Anthony is a top 15, top 20. I'm done with those conversations. He ain't top 20 to me. I'm done with him. I'm absolutely done with him. Carmelo can never get his team to the playoffs. And y'all want me to say this is a top 20 player? And this year he had a decent team. He had enough to make the playoffs in the Eastern Conference. Chris Paul, they struggling. They barely holding on to the five seed. You got Russell Westbrook damn near putting his team in a spot to, to, to compete for a five or four seed. Y'all hanging on a dear life to that? With all that talent the Clippers got in their starting rotation? Nah, nope. I'm done with those com- those conversations will never exist. All right? Chris Paul and, and Carmelo Anthony are first ballot Hall of Famers, in my opinion. Period. No conversation. But this whole notion of that these were two of the greatest to ever do it, I don't know if I can say that if they never win rings. I don't know if I can say that. Like Chris Paul, as great as he's been, is going to get lost in the sauce. Because he's in his the, the back end of his career is going to be caught up in this Steph Curry, Russell Westbrook, Kyrie Irving conversation. Kyrie Irving and Steph Curry have rings. Steph Curry is the more popular player at this point. And Russell Westbrook is averaging triple-doubles. All right? CP3 ain't averaging no triple-double. He doesn't have rings. And he's not the family man that Steph Curry is. So he's behind them. He ain't winning an MVP award in his career. That's done. I think we're long past that. He's on the back end of his career. All right? He ain't even the best passer of his generation. Like, we'll give LeBron the credit for being the best passer of this generation. Even though Chris Paul obviously averages more assists than LeBron, I think it's more impressive what LeBron does over what Chris Paul does. And we'll, we'll remember LeBron as a passer for this generation more than we'll remember Chris Paul because LeBron's bigger doing it. So we ain't going to remember him as a passer. We ain't going to remember him as a scorer because he's a really good scorer for a point guard at his, at his size, but it's not as impressive as Steph Curry. He ain't win championships. When you win championships and you in the finals playing, we remember those moments. People watch the finals with people, right? And you remember those moments that you make. He ain't got no finals moment. Don't look like he going to make one. You talk about Carmelo Anthony, he can't even make it to the damn playoffs anymore. He's done with that. The Knicks are atrocious. Melo signed that extension. The Knicks are garbage. They don't even make the playoffs. They about to damn near shut Melo down for the rest of the year. So I can't call him one of the greatest of all time. He doesn't even make the playoffs. He don't even make the playoffs regularly. How is Carmelo Anthony one of the greatest talents of this generation? And I'm, I haven't did the numbers. Has he not made the playoffs more years than he has made the playoffs? And this is one of the best players of, the genera- of this generation? Nah, we'll forget about him. He's obviously not as good or legendary as LeBron James. And if Kevin Durant can pull off a ring in the next few months, Kevin Durant will be the, the second best small forward of this generation. I mean, we're, I mean, 10, 20 years from now, when we get 30 and 40 for my generation, are we going to be talking about Carmelo? Or are we just going to be talking about LeBron, who's clearly the best in our generation? I'm done with that Chris Paul and Carmelo and Anthony conversation. It's dead to me. They're just not two of the greatest in my generation anymore. Just not. 